Welcome back, everybody, to X4 Foundation Summon Old Guy Gaming. And in this episode, we are going to make some changes to our trading ships. And after that, I don't know. We'll figure out what's happening. So first thing is that some of you more experienced players are probably either writing comments right now or getting ready to write comments uh, telling me that I did not use the drones correctly on the Cerberus when I uh, showed the fight there in the opening montage. And I completely agree with you because when I did that fight, I was a little frustrated with the way the drones were working, meaning that they were all docked and they had to undock and then they started docking again and then they had to undock and I was like, what the hell, man? And so I did a little bit of okay hold on let's get out of uh, this live stream view I did a little bit of um, research on on drones and how to use them in this game um, after I did that fight so I watched a couple videos I uh, read some reddits and some some steam forums and long story short is that what I should have done with those drones is I should have put them on escort mode prior to engaging so that they were already out and ready to go. Um, I didn't know I was supposed to do that, but I do know that now. So the next time I take the Cerberus out, or any ship for that matter, that has combat drones or defense drones, I'll make sure that they are escorting me prior to uh, the engagement, unless you know it's something that happens all of a sudden, uh, so that they're already out and ready to go. Um, that being said, though, uh, we did have some uh, success there, as you, as you saw in the opening montage. Um, killing some Xenon that uh, raided the Holy Order of Pontifex, or what the hell does that stand for again? <laughs> the HOP. Um, yeah, Holy Order of the Pontifex. And as you can see, we are now level 10 with them, and that means we can go visit their uh, faction leader person. And we can, um, yeah, loose animals would be vaporized on site. Yeah, exactly. Um, so we can we can um, get the order initiate um, rank with them, which will open up the military stuff. Uh, we are plus 20 with Talati Company and 21 with Argon Federation, which means we can now get hero of the Federation and honorary company director and open up even more stuff. So um, actually, that's probably what, probably, okay, try it again. That's probably, <laughs> that still wasn't right. I'm not drunk, I promise. Uh, that's probably what we'll do for the rest of this episode uh, or in the latter part of this episode. Uh, okay, so anyway, we are currently here at the Alliance of the Word factory, or not factory, but wharf. And um, after observations that I, and conclusions that I kind of came to on my own and that being confirmed by uh, some of you guys in the comments, I have decided that I'm going to put the three vultures on mothballs. I have them all three here. So we got the two here and the one over there. And I'm going to replace them with um, Hermes. Um, the Hermes Van, uh, yeah, Hermes Vanguard ships because the Hermes Vanguard ships are the fastest transport, me in other words, medium freighter types of ships uh, in the game, as far as I know, or at least in my game, because I don't have any of the DLCs yet. And by the way, if you if you're wondering, I probably will end up getting all of the DLCs because I'm really enjoying this game, and um, I think we'll eventually get them all. I don't know if I'll buy them all at once, but. I am tentatively now planning on getting all the DLCs, uh, for those of you who may not know. But because I don't have them yet, you know, I don't have access uh, to Split, and I don't have access to, um, you know, the other things, and, and Terran, and all the other things that they add at this point in time. Okay, so the here's here's the basic argument. Um, the problem with the Vultures is the slow ship in the game. Even though it has the most... Good lord, shut up, lady. It's got the most, it's got the most storage space, right? But it's also the slowest ship in the game, and I am being harassed by pilots now. The global setting for that is to flee, but um, you know the vultures have a hard time getting away from the pirates, and so 
I was thinking to myself, you know, we should probably go with fast ships rather than, you know, large, slow ships. And then, I, uh, like I said, I had some comments that were basically saying the same thing, which kind of confirmed that that's really what we need to do. Um, now, so what we're going to do is I'm going to keep these vultures, but I think I'm going to I'm going to store them for now. I'll put them back into service when I can escort them. OK, so when I can, you know, get a, like a, a fighter wing or maybe even a frigate or something that can escort them, um, you know, then we'll then we'll put them back into service. At least that's the plan right now. Um, so I'm not going to sell them. I'm going to keep them, but we're going to just put them on mothballs for now. Okay, so I've got my three top pilots um, here waiting for this exchange to happen. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, go to the ship, uh, the dealership, and we're going to purchase the Hermes Vanguards. And I've already kind of spent some time and figured out uh, the loadout that I want. Uh, so let's go to the ship dealership, and then we're just going to swap these pilots and then get them back uh, back to work uh, in the faster ships. Okay, so let's talk to you. Hello, hello, hello. Um, what are you? Oh, you must be a split lady. Okay, sorry. <laughs> She's looking at me like, what the hell, man? Um, I, I sorry, I just I wasn't. I wasn't uh, expecting a split here in a parent station. Actually, this isn't a parent station. This is the world of the something or other station. So, okay. Anyway, um, what we want to do is buy ships. And so the loadout that I've decided upon is the Hermes Vanguard. Um, and but with a Talati shield. And the cool thing about this word of the world station or whatever it is that we're at is it gives us access to all of the race's components. Um, so that means we don't have to buy the Hermes Vanguards, you know, from the Paranid and then truck them all the way up to Talati space to put the Talati shields on them. We can do that right here. Okay, so the equip, uh, the equipment is the combat drives. Now let's talk about the combat drives for a second as it relates to traders. I had somebody in the comments suggest a travel drive for a trader. Their rationale behind that is what or was that the the traders will spend a fair amount of time um, in travel mode, and so if you give them a travel drive, they're going to be able to go faster. Um, that's not an invalid argument, but the problem with the travel drive is that it takes three seconds to charge up before it even starts, um, and those three seconds could potentially you know, mean life or death if you're trying to get away from an enemy in one of these ships. So the combat drives have the fastest um, impulse speed um, and they will instantaneously go into travel mode. Now they still have to, you know, they still have to build up, but I mean, they, they go into travel mode immediately. And so I did a little more research on this. I, you know, did some Reddit and some, you know, some steam, uh, steam forums and that sort of thing. And there were other people that were confirming that too. They were saying, go with the combat drives uh, because of those reasons. You're going to get the fastest, you know, normal speed or impulse speed, but you're also going to be able to instantaneously go into travel mode to get out uh, or to get away. Okay. Um, for these particular ships, since these three ships are making us the most money, um, our three, you know, top traders, we're going to splurge and we're going to spend the money on the Mark III version of these drives. The Mark II version is 253. This is 282, as you can see down here. And that's a significant enough increase in speed to, to where I think it's going to be worth it, especially for our top money makers here in our, you know, our, uh, in Reaver Industries here. Okay. Um, the, then the suggestion also was to go with a Mark II Hello. Uh, combat thruster because you know we just this is a trading ship and we just don't get enough of an improvement considering the cost of these uh to go to a mark three for these now this is important though because you know it is it's still going to help the ship to you know to turn and get in the direction it needs to go a little more quickly uh, which it might need to do if, you know let's say for example it's moving away from a gate and it gets accosted by a pirate, so it needs to turn around and go back through the gate. Well, this is going to help it do that more quickly. 
So this is a happy medium here going with the Mark II. It's just, if you again, if you look at the strafe and the yaw pitch roll here, as I click on this, it's very, very minimal improvement for a huge amount of more money. Okay, so so this is going to st stick with a, a Mark II. Um, we can put the Talati shields, which, you know, everybody knows the Talati shields are the strongest shields. And again, even though they have a longer delay before they recharge, the whole point here is to get away as quickly as possible from the enemy um, from the get-go. And, you know, if they haven't gotten away by the time this shield goes down, they're in trouble anyways. So these have the Talati shields, as you can see. Um, I don't have any uh, turrets at all. Um, these ships are basically they're you know they're just going to run away if they get into into trouble that might change later on but uh, for now no turrets software is all the basic stuff uh, we don't need docking computers we have just the you know the the required basic stuff there on the software um, we don't have any consumables in these ships and but we do have a full or we will have rather a full service crew um, and in fact I'm going to, this is Hermes Vanguard Talati Shield. That's what that stands for, because I was doing some comparisons earlier. Uh, so we're going to overwrite that so that it has full service crew and no Marines, because, you know, we don't need Marines in this ship. Okay, so this is now going to be the workhorse of our trading fleet um, moving forward. It has, it has less than half the space of the Vulture, but... It's going to be able to get away from just about almost anything, you know, pirates especially, you know, because those are the ones that are the real hassle. I mean, sometimes the Xenon, you know, will go after them too, but the pirates are really the big hassle. And, you know, even though the vultures have, you know, a lot more space, they also waste a lot of time running away from these pirates, whereas this guy's, you know, going to be able to get away from them much quicker and then get back on track. And it's just going to be a safer solution. Okay. Um, so what with that, we're going to go ahead and purchase this. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to name this. Um, this one's going to be. Hello. Hello. Um, we're going to call this. Uh, trader. Yeah, we're just going to keep it simple. We're going to call it Trader One. And this will be Callie's ship. And we'll add this to the shopping list. And confirm the order. Okay, and then we're going to do the same Hello. thing again two more times. So we go here, medium, we go to Hermes Vanguard, the uh, Hermes VGT. In fact, you know what? Let's actually just get rid of these. All right, and this is going to be Trader 2. And add the shopping list and confirm order. And then we will do this one more Hello. time. Go to medium. Go to Hermes Vanguard. And we'll call this one Trader 3. Add the shopping list and confirm order. Okay. Uh, thanks there, Sheet. <laughs> Tint. She tint. She tint. That was she tint. Okay, cool. So now uh, we just need to wait until those ships are finished. Um, we have everything. We should have everything we need for them to. Uh, whoop. No, don't do that. To be made. Oh my goodness. That was fast. Um, they're, they're still working on building this one over here. Man, I can't believe how quickly these things were built. Really fast. Nice. Okay, so let's go here. And we will go down the elevator and take a look at our new ships. Now, I think what I can do with the vultures is I think I can just store them here. And I, and I, I don't know this for sure. I'm just guessing, but... It's my assumption that if we store them, they're not taking up the dock slots. Um, can we get over to that ship and take a look at it or not? Oh, yeah, we can go through here. Look at that, man. All right, these are our new 
brand new shiny trading ships and they are going to be fast for a transport ship pretty nice looking ships too if you don't mind my saying so okay so now what we're gonna do is work out let, let's do a quick save just in case I screw something up here okay um, now what we want to do is we want to take Callie, who's in Vulture Sentinel-1, and we want her to, uh, oh, you know what, let's, let's just call this ship information. Actually, you know what I, I want to do? For traders 1 through 10, we're going to spell out the word, and then if and when we get to 11, then we'll just use the number 11. I don't know. That's, that, that just feels a little more fancy-schmancy to me. All right. So this is actually going to be trader 2. As in the word 2. Well, no. Okay. We don't want caps lock on. There we go. And likewise, this will become greater three. It's the little things, you know. Some of you are probably rolling your eyes going, it's not that big a deal. And yeah, you're right, it isn't. But then again, it is. So shut up. No, <laughs> I'm just teasing. Uh, it's just me, okay? That's what it is. I like this. I like to do it this way. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to select Vulture Sentinel-1, uh, which is Cali, and we are going to right click on trader one and we're going to transfer crew um we're going to replace the captain we would like to remind all visitors to visit our crew special to transfer to this ship area close to the casino uh, wait a minute replace captain no not replace exchange okay exchange captains and I want Callie to keep her crew. Uh, so, how do I do that? Like this. I think. There's not enough crew space available on Trader Vulture 1 Sentinel. Oh! Oh, there's only 13 spots on the Sentinel where there's 20 on this one. How interesting. I didn't even really pay attention to that, obviously. Okay. Well, then... Um... How do we handle this? We want 13 of these guys to go... Why is there only a short whole crew list? Okay. Alright, so I want our top crewmen to go over. There's not enough crew space available on Trader 1. Right, okay, so what we can do is. Um, Take two of these over to there. Okay, and then for these guys, um, these guys, uh, let's move these three over also, and we'll put, we'll do that. So that adds 15. We're transferring five over to the Vulture. And two over to here. Why is that red?
I'm confused. I'm confused now. Security would like to remind all visitors to keep their belongings. So this should work. Can we also add these guys? And then do two more apprentices over or yeah. I still don't know why this is red though. Okay, let's confirm that. And just see what we ended up with. Because I got I'm sorry, I got a little confused about what was going on there. I mean, I understand the basic concept, but the details of it were like, what the hell's going on here? All right, let's go to here and go to crew. All right, so we have two able crewmen. Um, so we have a total of 19. Does that, that means we can add one more because it's, because this has a total of 21. So there's 20 with Cali. So we can add one more crew to this. So if we go to Vulture Sentinel 1. Um, no, that's not what I want to do. Vulture Sentinel 1, right click on Trader 1. And transfer crew with. So we should be able to put one more. Security would like to remind all visitors to keep their belongings. Yes, yeah, we can put one more on. Or no, two more, I guess. Like that. Okay, so that should put Trader 1 with a full crew. Yes, there's 21 crew. So two able crewmen and the rest are apprentice crewmen. Very good. Okay, so now we should be able to tell Callie um, that she can resume her advanced training. Um, so let's, we've got her selected. So let's go to uh, behavior. And we want to set her to advanced auto trade. We want her to trade everything except for illegals. So that's going to be Maja, Dust, and I guess Snails. I don't know if Snails themselves are illegal. Um, and Space Weed. Click OK to that. And for her anchor space, why don't we put her anchor space up in a Tikva's Choice one, I think. You know what, though? That's kind of a dangerous sector. Um, we, would like to remind all visitors to visit we could put her in 18 billion, I suppose. Yeah, let's put her in 18 billion. And she can go up to three jumps. Confirm. Okay. So that gets Callie going, and there she goes. She's taking off. Fantastic. Go make us money, Callie. She's our best pilot. <laughs> Love it. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing with the other two. So let's go back into here. And we want to take Vulture Sentinel 2. We want to right click on Trader 2. Transfer crew with. All right, we want to exchange captains. And we want... There's 12 able crewmen on here. Oh, my goodness. We want all of them. And then we just need to remove enough of these till it evens out. Which is right there. All right, if we confirm this... And then we look at Trader 2. They have a full complement. 
there's there's some pretty high level crew on this ship. My goodness, look at that. That's awesome. Security would like to remind all visitors to keep their Love children it. with okay. them at all times. Now let's go to behavior. And we want you to do advanced auto trading. All wares. Except for illegals. Let me know in the comments, guys, if Maja snails are illegal. Maybe they are not. I don't know. Uh, space weed. Okay. All right. Now, uh, for their anchor space. Trinity Sanctum 3. Let's look at the map here. So we put... We put Callie up at 18 billion, which is here. So she can go three jumps. So she can go one, two, three, <coughs> or one, two, three. She can't get up to Morningstar four from 18 billion. She can go one, two, three. Though I don't, uh, we might need a blacklist. We we need to go scout Yonamaser and see if that's even a Talati. Uh, sector anymore. It might have been taken over by the Xenon. I don't know. Uh, one, two, three. So she can get to there. One, two, three. She can get down to Trinity. Yeah, I, why don't we put Trader 2 in Trinity Sanctum? Well, actually, though, if we put them in Trinity, Trinity Sanctum 7, which is where we are now, they can go one, two, one, two, three. Explosive one, two, three. Um, I almost wonder if Memory of Profit would be a, a better place to put them. Or even down here in no Nopilius's Fortune. Problem with Nopilius's Fortune, though, is there's nothing in there to trade, really. Um, but then they can get down to HOP is the thing. I think we're going to put the third one in HOP just so we can keep really building ramp with those guys. So, if we went memory of profit, one, two, three, one, two. Yeah, let's let's go with memory of profit ten for their anchor space. And you know this is all going to change as we open up more space, anyways. And then make sure they do maximum jumps. I don't know why that wasn't already on maximum jumps. And click confirm. All right, that takes care of Trader 2. We will do the same thing now with Trader 3, except for the, the pilot in Trader 3 is still not a three-star, so they're still doing fill shortage orders. And we are definitely going to put them down in Holy Vision. All right, so select them, right-click Trader 3. Transfer crew with exchange captains. He has 11 able crewmen. Wow, that is good. And that should be good there. Confirm. Let's double check with Trader 3 and make sure they have a full complement of crew, which they do. Not quite as good as Trader 2, but still pretty darn good. Um. Skill. Current role. Captain. Yeah, none of these guys are very high with captain, but they're they're really good with service crew though. Um, so his piloting, well, actually it's not just his piloting, it's his overall. So he's still kind of stuck on two stars at the moment. Um and there, I think there might be a couple other pilots that are getting close to three that we will eventually replace him with when the time comes. All right. But anyway, let's go to behavior. We want you to fill shortages. And we want you to fill shortages for everything except for the illegal stuff. Uh, space weed. Click OK. Customers and that wears on the I guess he doesn't have an anchor space. 
So you can kind of, I guess they can go all over the place. So let's confirm and I think we're good to go. There he goes. Okay, now for these vultures, we should be able to, I'm guessing that's not my vulture there. Um, actually, is that e that uh, that's not even a vulture at all? I don't think. Well, maybe it is. Uh, let's get off this platform here. And um, hello. How do I get off the platform? Over here. All right, we're just gonna do it this way then. Let's go to Vulture One. Vulture Sentinel. Um. We've got some captains here on these ships. I don't know what we do with them if we store the ship. <sighs> um, Can I help? Oh, and we have crew on these ships, too. Hmm. I didn't even think about that. What are we going to do with sure. these guys? If we put the ship on mothballs, what happens with the crew? Well, let's just try it and see what happens. Let's, um... Okay, so we should be able to... No, that's not what I want to do. We should be able to go to this panel over here and store this ship, I think. But if we do that, I don't know what happens to the crew. Maybe it probably won't let us store it until we do something with the crew, which would make sense. Yeah, let's do another quick save here. Um, and also, let's go back to Vulture Sentinel 1 and let's just look at, see what's left. Okay, so we have two apprentices left on the ship. And uh, neither one of them are even one star yet. The captain is Do not wave at the station one and a quarter panel. stars piloting. So he could get a seminar and bring him up to two and a half. So he's probably worth hanging on to. I'm just not sure where to put him. Can... Okay, is there room to put you on the Cerberus? Uh, there's no free space for... Okay, nope, there isn't. What about the Sentinel? Yes, we can put you on there as service crew. Okay, so that way we retain that captain for potential future use. Okay. Um, now, for the rest of the crew, I mean, we could probably just fire them. Here, let's look at something. If we go to here, and we go to service crew... It's probably going to be these, yeah, these guys down here. Well, station hauler. Doesn't even sh show. Mind the gap. Why doesn't it show the vultures here? Hmm. I don't know. It doesn't appear to show these guys on the vulture at all. Okay, I tell you what, what happens if we try and store this ship? Put into internal storage. Oh. So the two crew that are on that ship 
What happens with him? Does this still take up a dock slot too in this station? That's the other thing I don't know. All right, let's look at something now. If we go here, does it tell us that this ship is stored? It still, <laughs> it still has a service crew on it. Um, we have reported dock and wait as the default, the default behavior. Would all visitors please report to the medic bay for I mean, if we can store them and they're not taking up a dock slot, then we might as well take them back to our own station. But the thing is, whoops. Is even though we just stored this ship, it still shows as being on this station. Hmm. Which suggests to me then that it's taken up a slot on this station. Is there any way we can get information on this station that would show that? Docked ships. Five of 156. Yeah, it still shows it still shows that the vultures docked. I don't know. Maybe we should just sell these ships. We can always buy them again later if we decide to even use them again later. Because I mean, you know, the other thing is is down the road when we are ready, we might move to freighters with escorts anyways, and we might not use these at all. So if I wanted to trade this. Um, let's... Hey, what are you doing? He's got two and a half engineering stars. Dear visitors, we are experiencing some... Hello. There are 300,000 to hire. Okay. Goodbye. All right, here. Let's, um... Let's bring the Vulture one back out of storage. That is very cool looking. So cool. Okay, now if we get on the ship. And we go to buy ships. How do we sell this ship if we want to sell it? Obviously, we don't do that there. Do we go to here? Um. really see a sell option here either ship information load out log up yeah see that there's where it was under attack uh i don't know how to sell these do I get out of the ship and then select it to sell it at that point? Okay, let's try this. Let's select you. Wait, what? No. I was asked to drop my cargo. Who asked you to drop your cargo? Callie, tell them to F off. You can outrun them. Awaiting manual. orders. Uh, escape. Here, I actually want to look at this. Trader 1. 
Oh yeah, uh, she's she's so she outran those guys so fast. Oh, we don't even see where the enemy is. Yeah, I think it was a smart move to to move to these fast ships. Okay, good. It looks like Trader Three is also running away from somebody. They already have quantum tubes. Look at that. I don't know who they were running away from, but okay. Back to this. If I go, if I right click on this, um, can you really act, actually not sell your ships in this game? That just doesn't seem, that doesn't make sense. How can you not sell a ship? Information, upkeep, rename, redesign. I'm going to, I'm going to look this up. I'll be right back. Okay. So apparently, uh, I learned two things. The way you sell the ship is you select the ship and then you right click on the wharf, uh, to sell. Um, but I also learned that you want to first take all of the upgrades off of it or you, because you won't get the money for those. Um, now that could have been an old article. So let's let's do a, another quick save here, and we're gonna see if that's still the case. All right. So if I select Trader Vulture Sentinel One, and then I right-click on the wharf, I can sell the ship. Uh, it's not it's not telling me though how much I would get for it. Oh, it is here now. Okay. So we would get 315,328 if we sold it just as is. All right. Now instead, let's uh find a suitable object for there's no pilot on the ship. Okay. Let's hop back on the ship. and get inside of it let's go here all right what we want to do is we want to put the cheapest crap on it that that you can possibly put on it oh we can do all of these at the same time well that's interesting and useful i must not have purchased these correctly because it it would appear that this ship what if we just did minimum preset um so that means we get this we should be getting this money back right if we do add to shopping list yeah minus 1.3 million <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, before we before we do this though, I want to at least take a quick look at the captains on the other two ships. All right, so let's go to uh, information. All right, he's got one and a half piloting and not even a full morale. Oh, but we got a really high level service crew specialist on this ship. Yeah, we want to definitely save him. All right, so work somewhere else for me. Um, where do I have room to put you? Is there room on this? Yeah, go ahead and work on that ship for now. Yeah, I'm glad we checked that. My goodness, that would have sucked to lose him. Honestly, this captain kind of sucks, though. I'm not really too worried about the captain here. Um, let's take a look at Vulture 3. Information crew. This captain is... Eh, not that great. And the service crew is not that big of a deal. So I don't really... Yeah, I don't really care so much about them. Okay. So, I mean, I care about them, but you know what I'm saying. 
Um. Yeah, there's, they're not that great. Okay, so now if we go back to... If we just select this ship here, Vulture Citadel 1, and we just do... Why isn't it let me do the cell option now? I don't know. I don't know why it didn't come up. But it was 300 and some odd thousand, as I recall, if we just sold it. For some reason, it's not... Oh, it's probably because I'm sitting in it. That's why. Okay. Um. So if we go here and we select all th three of these Sentinels and we set everything to minimum preset and then add that to shopping list... I'm interpreting this right, it's going to add 1.3 million to our wallet in 30 minutes. And if that's true, then that's the way to do this. So you strip all the modules off first and then, then sell them. Okay, so this should go up by 1.3 million in just a moment. Uh, or did the money come in before that? It's probably from this. Yeah, okay. So that, yeah, because that's 12. Yeah, that's about 1.3 million, these three right here. Cool. Okay, now, if we get off the ship. Don't do that. Um, actually, no. I do. I want to go back to the Peggy. Okay. Now, if we select Vulture Sentinel 1 and right click Sell Ship, and we, we still are getting, we're still getting 300,000. It's a little less, but plus we got 1.3 million. So if we sell all three of these for nine, we basically got 2.1, no, 2.2 .2 million ish. There we go. Okay. Fantastic. That uh, that worked out pretty good. That worked out really well. Um, we may not use the Vulture at all anymore. We might not buy more of them because, like I said, when the time comes for us to have a, sh a freighter ship with an escort, we're probably going to do a big, Pegasus. large Vanguard. freighter ship. Okay, well, guys, this uh, episode took a lot longer than... I was planning, but I'll tell you what, before we before we wrap it up, let's go ahead and do our promotions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell uh, this guy to go, well, here, let's do it this way. Let's go here. Um, we're going to do the HOP one first, so set that to active. And... And they want us to go here. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll select 
and we have the Peggy selected. We'll tell it to dock here. This ship will be a docking soon. And Can tell I him help? to proceed with current orders. Why I have to do that, I'm not sure, but I do. All right, I'll see you guys down there. Unregistered armored transport detected. Owner, Duke's Buccaneers. Destination, unknown. These fellows seem to be carrying an unnecessarily large amount of valuable wares. I do wonder where they are taking them and to what end. What fellows? Wait, what? Uh, I'm totally confused here. Is he talking about the buccaneer thing that just popped up? I feel like I missed something. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what that's all about, but hopefully it won't cause us major problems in the future here. Okay. Let's go get our promotion with the Holy Order of the Pontifex. Representative's office. Receive rank. We have watched as you have performed a great number of exploits within our space. Our order finds you worthy of some recognition. In the name of the Holy Order of the Pontifex, I lift you to a new standing amongst us. You will find that your position will include a number of benefits. In the event that you turn against us, we will wrench this title from you and serve judgment. However, with your noble character, we do not expect such a thing. Go and make these rewards your own. We pray they help you continue on the path to enlightenment. You may also find that certain sanctioned groups with our order will have gained interest in you. You will do well to not reject them. I again recognize your holy will. May the true pontifex continue to guide you. Safe journey. Okay. Um, so let's buy a police license. Safe journey. All right, cool. Uh, we'll look at his blueprints maybe later. All right, now um, we're going to go up to uh, Argon Prime to get the second promotion from them and then into Talati Space to get the second promotion from them. So I'll see you guys over there. You can find my ship. This is my ship right here. All right, we are at uh, the it's Argon an honor Wharf. To have you aboard. So let's head on in and get our promotion from these guys. Representative's office. Receive rank. We're happy that you've continued to work alongside us and wanted to reward you for your efforts. It's an honor to present you with a new rank amongst our organization. Of course, this rank comes with great benefits. These benefits are tied to the rank, so if you lose the rank, the benefits go too. But with your record, I'm sure we won't have to worry about that. I hope you find these rewards fit into the work you've done and make the most of them. Oh, and you may also find that certain organizations under our jurisdiction now have interest in you joining their ranks. Once again, Thank you for your efforts. We look forward to working with you more in the future. Good luck out there. Okay, so that's the same exact spiel they gave us the first time. It's too bad they didn't make that a little more interesting, but it is what it is. Uh, okay, so we already own the police license. This will allow us basically to see all the Argon stations without needing satellites, but 10 million credits is pretty steep for us right now. I mean, we could certainly afford it, but um, that's just that's too much money, so... Um, something we probably will do later on. We already have, like I said, the police license, so we're good, good to go there. there. Okay. 
Um, but we do have access to blue, uh, more blueprints now. Um, um, these are incredibly expensive too, so no way we can afford any of that at the moment. A hundred million for the Colossus Vanguard. Yowzers. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, as far as equipment goes, drones, missiles. Yeah, I mean, we'll have, we'll have to look at this stuff later to see if it's something we might eventually I mean I I envision I envision us potentially manufacturing everything down the road um from ships to equipment to Good everything luck out there. but that's a long ways off from now of course so we'll just kind of see how things go all right let's head on over to Talati to get a promotion from them I'll see you guys over there. All right, guys, we are here at the Talati station in Hiwa's Twin. Greetings, pilot. I represent the well-respected Talati Trade Guild, and I have a lucrative proposition for you. If that you're interested, so find me. That sounds good. I'm interested. I love this station. We're gonna we're gonna have to get us one of these, you guys. <laughs> We're going to have to get us one of these um, Elite Dangerous trading stations, is what those are. Or well, what they remind me of, anyway. Okay, let's go talk to the representative. Now, the fact that we are in a new um, sector to talk to the trade representative leads me to believe that Eonim Zero has definitely been taken over by the Xenon. But we can run over there in our scout trick. Uh, ship rather and check that out and see if that is indeed the case. See, Brink. So he's probably going to just tell us the We're same happy stuff. That our previous interest in you was not unfounded. You have performed well enough to be rewarded. It's an honor to present you with a new rank amongst our company. Of course, this rank comes with great benefits. These benefits are tied to the rank. So if you lose the rank, the benefits go to. But with your record and our trust, I'm sure we don't have to worry about that. I hope you find these rewards fitting to the work you've done. May they bring you profit. Given your elevation, you may also find opportunities in a number of organizations under our administration. They may be worth your attention. Once again, I give you thanks for your efforts. We look forward to continuing our partnership in the future. Good profit to you. Okay, nice. So we are now honorary company director. Um, I believe... Ooh, they charge $16 million for their company trade subscription. Yowzers, okay. Good profit to um, you. I want to look at blueprints here really quick. And modules in particular, and dock modules... Three dock teep here. Can we get the? Uh, I want to get the. See if we can get the. You know the ring thingy, the ring station. Habitation modules. I don't. Know. Too bad they didn't show pictures of these, so you know what they look like. Um, three dock, one dock pier. This three dock E pier is the most expensive one, but I don't know what that looks like. I'll we'll have to look that up online, I guess. Base connection structure. Um. Oh, wait a minute. Are these like the same no matter what race? Because I thought I was looking at the, um,. The Argon, and I thought we it showed like the ring piece. Habitation. Yeah, like habitation module. L biome. Administrative center. Disc defense platform. Bridge defense administrative center. Yeah, I don't know. 
processing modules. Cross base. Okay, well, I'll look into that because it would be absolutely fantastic if we could build profit to you. our own station like this. <laughs> That'd be so cool, man. You know, looking out here, this as I've mentioned multiple times now, this reminds me of, of you know, the stations in Elite Dangerous, but it also reminds me of a little bit of the, um, I don't remember what the name of it, but it's in the show um, The Expanse, and it's the ship, it's, it was the Mormon um, Ark ship that the Belters took over. I don't remember what the name of that ship was, but looking out, uh, over this reminds me a lot of of that ship because it was just a huge enormous ship like this so cool man love it all right guys well unfortunately uh, we are out of time in this episode so i'm gonna probably once again you know do the uh do the usual thingy where um you know i, I just kind of manage my empire uh build build our our, our funds up some more um, and I think, you know, what, what the next kind of big thing on my mind for us to do is probably going to be exploring because we need to open up some more sectors and I'm probably going to purchase some more Peggy's, some more of these ships here, um, for that purpose as scout ships. Um, so that's kind of what I'm thinking of, but I don't have real specific plans yet, but once I do have that figured out. I will bring you guys back at that point, and we will go from there. So we, uh, just so you know, oh, you know what? I didn't show you either. Oh, I didn't show you anything about our station. Let, let here. Let's take a couple of, of more minutes and, and just look at that really quick, because I wanted to. I want to show you a couple of things. So, uh, in terms of our station, I've added a couple more, uh, a few more things. So I, I have three haulers now, and these guys are all busy, mostly, uh, if not almost entirely selling product from the station. Uh, the miners are handling ore, silicon, and ice between the two of them. So we have the two miners there and the three haulers. And these, by the way, these are um, Paranid Hermes uh, ships too, very similar to the ones we just bought earlier in this episode. Uh, so we got that going on. If we take a look at our account uh, accounts, our station currently has uh, 2.4 million in its account. Manager's telling us they only need 1.2 million. So if we click accept estimate, the extra money will then uh, basically basically be transfer, transferred into our own wallet. Okay, so that brings our own wallet now up to 34.4 million. Uh, in terms of the station itself, uh, let me show you the changes I made real quick before I let you go here. So if we go to Let's go to plan build. Uh, so what I did was I moved the original dock over to here temporarily. Um, but I'm going to probably take that down. But I just left it there for now. And then I put a luxury 3M dock here. 3M meaning three medium ships can dock here. And I also added some extenders. Uh, for adding more stuff later because because my plan here is to ha put habitation modules in this section okay I don't think we did anything uh, different over here well actually you know what I did add uh, I added a meat production here I don't think we had done that originally and what in the heck are those vertical I, th I think they are <laughs> It, it looks for a minute there it looked like they were at an angle or something are they yeah I might have to fix that it doesn't look like those are those are vertical oh for goodness sakes okay um I added two more of each storage type here but we also have these verticals here that we can add you know, a, a, another vertical piece and then keep going. Plus, the, you know, these can go out further too. And I do know that there's medium and large storage as well. Uh, something we'll look into eventually. And then over here, I, I had to reposition our refineries because um, 
they were actually crooked a little bit. I didn't really notice that. So I took care of that too. So those are all the things that I did off camera uh, for our station. If we take a look at our logical station overview, um, I have set ice, energy cells, ore, and silicon to only buy from Raver Industries. I don't, uh, and, and specifically buy from the miners, uh, my miners that I have working. Okay. Um, I don't want to buy from other, um, other factions because I want this to be a self-sufficient station. And so I set up a Reaver Industries exclusive, um, rule. And basically all that rule says is you can only buy from Reaver Industries. Here, let's take a quick look at that. So if we go to here and we go to Global Orders, uh, this is it here, Reaver Industries exclusive. So basically it means restrict all factions, only allow Reaver Industries. Okay. Uh, and again, I did that so that only the ships that belong to the station or any of my other ships for that matter um, will supply this factory. Just because that's what I wanted, wanted to do. I know I'm not saying that's the way sh it should always be done, but it's the way I wanted to do this station. Okay, so let's go back to here. Um, and so, you know, this, uh, those of you who are familiar with this game know that this stuff fluctuates a lot. Um, but right now, it, it, it's almost looking like, and I need to keep an eye on this some more, but it's almost looking like we could even almost add another miner because my two miners between, you know, the three ores uh, or the three, you know, the ice, the ore, and silicon can have a bit of a of a hard time keeping up with the station because I'm selling this stuff. I'm not using the silicon wafers or the refined metals for anything else. I'm just selling what I'm making for now. The water I'm, I'm using, um, I have, let's see, was it? I have 800 water reserved for the meat production. Um, well, no, actually, I guess I, I have a thousand water reserved just just for a little bit of a buffer. So basically what this means is always keep a thousand water and anything above that in the green, go ahead and sell. Okay. Same thing with energy cells. So we need a total of however many energy cells we need for our current productions. And I, uh, so I have that set to 2,500. I did the math on it earlier. I just don't remember what it is off the top of my head. And this will change too as time goes on. As we add more stuff, we'll need more energy cells. Um, but essentially that's what that means. So the green is surplus and the green is what can be sold on all that stuff, okay? Um, and then this is just being sold and all of this stuff is just being sold. I have no buy orders on this because uh, I'm making it myself, so I don't want to buy it. So there's just sell orders. And everything is, is basically set to automatic pricing. I haven't put any, any manual pricing on that stuff. So if we take a look at our transaction log, uh, you can see that our station is definitely making us money. It, it doesn't make us as much money as, you know, all of our trading, but, you know, eventually we're going to have we're going to increase um, the capability of this station, but we're probably going to be building even more stations uh, as time goes on. And Reaver Industries goes from making millions to billions. Um, so anyway, you can see that the station's doing pretty well overall, if you look at the big picture here. And uh, yeah, so there you go. We have we had a pretty big sale. I was looking at this earlier. Um, all of these reds are transfers, you know, to my to my wallet. We have a 147 there, a 141, 137, 147. So, yeah, my guy, my station's doing pretty good. And you know, this is a combination of the AI ships coming to buy from me, but most most of this is my ships going out and you know actively selling the, the product. So yeah, I think that gets everybody up to date. So here again, like I said, what I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to kind of, you know, keep managing the empire for now. 
but I think our next big thing uh, when we start the next episode is we're going to focus on some exploration uh, and I'll probably like I said get some Pegasus maybe some more Peggy's involved in that uh, but we ourselves are going to go start uncovering more of the map and um, you know which is going to open up more uh, trading capability for us okay so with that guys I think I'm going to leave you here and so hopefully the next time I see you we'll have substantially more than 34.7 million and we'll go from there so thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed the episode if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment and share the video and we'll catch you all in the next episode bye bye Thank mm -hmm. you.